from, from some of the young people. You would come on up here, Simon. Evelyn. And Gigi. So, Evelyn, I'll start with you. Evelyn, how about you? Here. Should have built a tower. Fun, oh, yeah. Go ahead. It's yours. Build, build us a tower. Right on that music stand. Okay, pretty straightforward. You enjoy too? Go on, Gigi. Build a tower. It's unconventional, yes. That's good. It, it, it does have stuff as well. We're all over the place. Very good, okay. Now, good. Now, both of you, you are the first person, but nobody in the other service used this as a thing, so. Well done. Both of you put the bottom of this in. How about building it this way? Step over here. How about building it like this? Why, why, don't we, why, don't, why don't we build it like this? Huh? Think it's gonna fall? Think it's, it's gonna, gonna fall? Be so cool. It's gonna be so much cooler if it works. Let me just see. Patrick can make this one. Ah! Oh, yeah. Well, why don't we put the big bowl on top? Because it falls. And why? Because it's heavy and it's you got so you you gotta put. The first things first. You gotta create a foundation. You gotta, you gotta put the first things first here. And then I noticed all of you did one after the other. When you put the first things first, it gives you a solid foundation. When you don't, it 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 doesn't quite work. It falls apart. Well, the same is true with your life of faith. The same is true with your connection to, to God. When do you guys ever pray? Any of you ever pray? I hope sometimes you pray. Do you think if you were in a terribly scary situation, let's say you were lost in a forest, and you didn't know which way to go, and it's getting dark, and it's getting cold, and you don't know where to camp is, do you think you should panic, start screaming, run around? Yes. <laughs> or do you think it might make sense for you to stop and pray first and say, Lord, please help you. And then start looking for a figure it out. What do you think? Well, you always have time. Do you, do you think praying first might make some sense? Or afterwards? What do you think? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a good answer, actually. What if you have to make a big decision? You have to make a, a, a big decision. Do I go, do I do this thing with my family, or do I do this thing with my friends, or do I take this class for a lot, or do I, um, do I, do I, do I have, I, you guys have to make big decisions. Do you think you should make, you should pray before the decision, or after the decision? What do you think, Brady? Seriously. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I would say before. So if you get it right and you pray before, and then you think, Jesus is going to be with you. He's going to help you make wise decisions. If you if you act first and then decide, well, maybe I'll pray or afterwards, it, it doesn't work as well as it. Get the first things first. Get the important things done right away. And don't make them second. Does that make sense? And when, when, when God is in the first part of your life, it's one of the first people you think about, one of the first things you do, it makes a difference. It gives you connection to Him. You make better decisions. Is that good news? Good. You guys pray with me. Dear Jesus, thanks for being with us. Thanks for hearing our prayers. Thanks for helping.
helping us make decisions. We love you, Jesus. How God's people say, Amen.